The last problem we will work that will complete our note pack. Another try. The KSP for LA F3 is 2 times 10 to the negative 19th. What is the solubility of lanthanum fluoride in water in moles per liter? So up above we had to do grams per liter. Here we're doing moles per liter. That's what molarity is defined as. So lanthanum fluoride, LAF3, is in dynamic equilibrium with its ions. Lanthanum, who must be a plus 3 charge, and 3 fluorides, which are minus 1. KSPs are either found in our appendix D or provided in the problem 2 times 10 to the negative 19th. Quite a small number. This must not be very soluble. I would expect a quite a small answer. So here's the expression. If KSP is equal to the concentration of the positive ion raised to the first power times the concentration of the negative ion raised to its power of 3. Why don't we call lanthanum X? Fluoride will have to become 3X, and we'll set that equal to the KSP constant. 2 times 10 to the negative 19th is equal to X, that's the lanthanum value. 3X, that's the concentration of fluoride, and it needs to be cubed. So we have X times 3X cubed. Simplifying, 2 times 10 to the negative 19th, let's see, 3 cubed is 27. X cubed times X, this gives us 27 X raised to the fourth power. Let's hit with our calculator, pulling out X. 2 E negative 19 divided by 27 sets that equal to X raised to the fourth power. So let's take that answer and raise it to one-fourth power, pulling out just the value of x. And x is now being shown as 9.28 times 10 to the negative sixth molarity, big M. Those brackets are big M. And that's the lanthanum concentration. The x was given to La+. Plus, but notice the stoichiometry is still 1 to 1. So this is also representing LaF3 the concentration of that original salt. It wanted it in moles per liter, and that's what molarity is, so there's the value that we needed. If it had asked for grams, it did not, but if it did, just the next step would be to multiply by its molar mass, and that would convert it into grams per liter. The molar mass value of 195.9 and we come up with a quite small number that we had anticipated, 0018 grams per liter of LAF3. I'm only showing that to just review if it asks for grams per liter. It's just an additional step where we use molar mass to convert moles into grams. This problem did say to stop at moles per liter, which was the value of X. That concludes the KSP in our notepad practice.